In this video, we will view, add and edit the calendar events. Calendar can display site, course, group and user events, in addition to assignment and quiz deadlines, chat times and other course events. Calendar is a default block available on the front page of the Moodle site and can be added inside the course from at a block drop down menu. First click turn edit and on. And then click on the edit icon in the calendar block. On the configuration page, expand the page context drop down menu and change it to display throughout the entire site to make the calendar appear on the all the pages of Moodle site. You can also change some default settings for calendar like display region, weight, etc. Settings specific to current page can be changed under on this page. Then click save changes and click turn editing off. Under available courses, click on the course name to enter it. In order to add a new event to the calendar, click on the month link in the calendar block. There are four types of events in the Moodle calendar, that is, global, course, group, and user events. Global events are sidewipe news and can carry schedule for planned site outages in the future. Such events can be generated by the admin. Course events are course specific and teacher can generate such events. The events pertaining to groups are called group events, whereas a user can also mark personal events in the calendar known as user events. These events are user generated events. You can navigate to past and future dates by using the left and right icons. Click the right icon to view the next month. Then click on new event button to add a new event. Select the type of event from the drop down menu. Let's choose course type event. Enter the name for the event as annual meet for the MC. In the description box, enter the event text as shown. Scroll down. And under date setting, enter the date and time for the event. If you want to make it a time bound event, then you can set the duration by using the duration setting. If the event is repetitive in nature, then check the repeat this event checkbox. Then click save changes to save the event. The event has been set and appeared in the calendar. In the event keys block, click on the eye icon beside the course entry to hide the course events. Now all course events are hidden. Click on the icon again to unhide the events. Now, open your Moodle site in your computer and implement the exercise before proceeding to the next video.